YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today was a historical day in the footballing world with Manchester City completing the treble. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a video game with FIFA 23 and how you guys can be making coins this weekend with investments. We're gonna be looking at the market, what's going on with it, going up, going down, and expected content in the next couple of days. But before we do all that, we're gonna talk about content today on Saturday. If you wanna have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins make sure you use code teddy at checkout to get five percent off your order link is in the description down below content today on saturday was not that much also apologies for no video last night i like super last minute got invited to go to a chris stapleton country concert and um it was a free ticket so i wasn't gonna say no and i had a lot of fun i barely knew any of the songs but it was a good time but yesterday, just to kind of sum up what happened, trading was really good yesterday. We talked about in the video before that how, you know, you can, shut up phone, you can make a lot of coins on Friday with bids and it helped a lot because think about it, a lot of people saved packs for ultimate team of the season and with all those saved packs, there was a ton of supplies. So if you got on bids, I mean, 83s were like 4,000 coins. And we were getting them on bid for like 900 coins. It was pretty crazy. A lot of profit to be made. People were making 100K in like 20, 30 minutes just from 83s, 84s, whatever it was they were trading with. Really good day for making coins. And um, the flash upgrade SBC as well, if you did investments off of that, great day. So that's it. I don't want to talk too much about uh, yesterday. And we're going to try to make this video quick today because it's my cousin's birthday. I just went to a grad party and then I got to go to my cousin's birthday. So we're going to try to fly through this real quick. So content, Sergio Biscuits, really good SBC today. A lot of people are going to be doing this card. He's not that expensive. If you look on Footman as well, his like to dislike ratio is crazy. Like a lot of people like this SBC. I think he's around 200K. Yeah, just over 200,000 coins. And I mean, just over 200,000 coins for this card. That's kind of crazy. Really, really, really solid card and links to him have gone up. That's something I should actually probably mention with the end of era sort of promo that we're getting with SBCs every single day. If you if we get an SBC that is really solid and really cheap like this Biscuits, links to the card are going to do really good. So links to Sergio Biscuits have gone up in price and uh, just, you know, keep an eye out for something like that. Great SBC there. Also, we got a flash like ucl halftime sbc we we do get that pretty much every single year i think it's gone now if i'm correct i do believe that it is gone so we can't look at it but i think it was decent for trading i was at the graduation party when it came out so i couldn't really look at it but i did watch the game and um yeah i did not see the sbc though uh so that was that for content we talked about friday with trading now let's kind of just go into the market real quick so the market a few people were, were kind of confused as to what was going on. And, you know, we did see a little bit of a rise on some cards on the market. Some cards coming down as well. The ones that were in Ultimate Team of the Season. Let's actually go back to the loading screen so we can see what Ultimate Team of the Season was. But, you know, if a card was in Ultimate Team of the Season, you know, it makes sense. They're back in packs. They come down in price. And some of the cards that weren't in did rebound a little bit. But in general, you know, we saw the market cards that were in went down in price cards that weren't that was the team by the way went up in price you can actually just see it right there cards that weren't in went up in price a lot of stuff actually kind of went up in price and then as the weekend has gone on stuff has come down and you know we kind of did mention that saying how we might see some what of a rebound around friday with weekend league as people build their teams because it's ultimate team of the season guys ultimate team of the season you want to have the best team possible because with ultimate team of the season you get the ultimate team of the season rewards this is the most important weekend of all of fifa 23 because it is only ultimate team of the season it is literally the best cards you can possibly get and if you can get up to 14 wins you get ultimate team of the season player picks in the ultimate team of the season three player pack so it's the best weekend and people are building their teams and you know we did see the market rise and stuff has now started to come down in price like even some of the cards that were in the ultimate team of the season promo you know came down rebounded yesterday on friday and then people were like yo teddy what's going on why, why are these cards rising and then they've just you know slowly as the weekend goes on they have continued to drop and they will probably continue to drop as we can see here with Mo Salah yesterday you can just kind of see what happened there was a big drop off and then rebound 
And then I was like, guys, you know, just wait. It's fine. As the weekend goes on, they'll continue to drop. And we saw here, Mo Salah is back down at just about one mil. And as the weekend goes on, you are probably going to see these cards continue to drop in price as people get more ultimate team of the season rewards. And as we approach the shapeshifter promo, because the shapeshifter promo, we talked about it. Ultimate team of the season. Yes, the market does come down for some cards. But then the shapeshifter promo is when a lot of stuff crashed because with the shapeshifter promo, it was nasty. Last year, I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be like that this year again, but a bunch of like 97 overall cards. We got a 99 Messi. I think the 99 Messi, that may have been the Messi that had five-star skill moves as well. So they juiced that promo and we, I mean, it is the next one. It's probably going to be juiced again. And I did open some packs, by the way, for Ultimate Team of Season. We saved some. I got Pedro. I got Lewin. I think we're going to ditch Lewin and go with Ben Yedder. But I thought I was going to lose coins on Renato Sanchez, not an ultimate team this season, actually up in price a decent amount. And yeah, so that's my whole thing with the market. Let's talk about something real quick, guys. FIFA pack compensation. You guys, ever since the whole, the German compensation, people, there were a few people that were like, okay, Teddy, are there any packs with a, with a messed up name that I can get compensation for? A few people were like that. And then when the Polish one happened, every single stream, yo, Teddy, am I going to get compensated? You see right here? Yo, Teddy, am I going to get compensated? Is there compensation? Is there a new pack? Are there any new packs? This, that. And I said, guys, you know, there's no new packs right now. Like, there's nothing in the store that's new. You got to wait for some new packs. Maybe with Ultimate Timmy Season, we get something new. And if we go and look, apparently, I haven't looked into it th too much. But the tweet, the tweet that I made kind of somewhat blew up. But someone in my Discord pinged me and was like, yo, Teddy, check this pack out. And then on Twitter, someone said, hey, Teddy, check this pack out. The 100K pack in Brazilian Portuguese. It's not, there's like Portuguese, then there's like Portuguesa de Brazil. And it's that one. It doesn't say that there's a loan. And guys, I, I understand last time this happened, people were like, but bro, it says loan. The loan at the end right here, O-S-E-M-P, E-M-P dot stands for loan. That doesn't matter because that's a separate sentence from the icon, the team of the season player pick. It needs to say loan team of the season player pick. Instead, it says team of the season player pick, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end period, it says for a seven game loan, something like that. It, it's not attached in the same sentence. So uh, I don't know if it still says that I already opened the pack, so I can't show you guys that you, this is the pack right here. I'm hoping, you know. EA fixes this issue and I get compensated and I get four team of the season player picks. Fingers crossed. That's what I hope will happen. Who knows? Um, if you want to open the pack, it's a hundred thousand coin pack. It's in Brazilian Portuguese. Go for it and just translate it before you open it. Don't just open it blindly and expect compensa compensation. Change it to that language. Use Google Translate or something and make sure that it's is still wrong. Make sure that it's still wrong before you just go and blow 100k on the pack. I actually, I mean, it, it's not even like that bad of a pack to blow 100k on. I opened it and I got an 89 and 87 and some other low rated fodder. And for 100k, it basically just, you know, paid for the fodder almost that I packed. So I was like, hey, that's, that's a great little gamble. So maybe if you guys want to try to get some compensation, go for that Brazilian Portuguese pack, the 100k pack. That's it. So hopefully we get compensation also. Don't ask me when, please don't join the streams and spam me. Yo, when am I getting compensated? When am I getting compensated? It took like a week for EA to do the Polish one for the compensation and they tweet about it. I, I have no idea. I'm not EA. So if you ask me, I'm not going to have an answer for you. We don't even know if they're going to compensate it. They could not compensate it, but it's the same issue that we had with the German one. They compensated it. The same issue we had with the Polish one. They compensated it. So I'm hoping we can get compensation. And when you get them back, they're not loans because they don't specify that it's supposed to be a loan. So they give them to you as actual player picks and you'll get untradeable team of the season player picks. So it's pretty awesome. And hopefully that happens. Now let's talk about making coins and investments. We did a bunch of trading yesterday and Friday, made a ton of coins doing that. Now, if you guys want to do investments, it's really not a terrible time to look into full sending some team of the weeks. They might be lower tomorrow. They might be cheaper tomorrow, but there's two, two ways it could go tomorrow on Sunday. If there's no team of the week requirement in whatever icon or hero SBC we get, the team of the weeks are going to stay low and they'll probably go closer to 10 K. 
but for now i mean they're pretty much eleven thousand coins they can only go down another thousand coins it's not that big of a risk if you do just want to start full sending some of these team of the week cards in preparation for what happened last year where at the week after team of the season team of the weeks went all the way up from 10k 10k all the way up to 40 to 50 000 coins somewhere in that range so i can't tell you if that's going to happen again this year i don't know if it will but I'd say it's worth the gamble to, hey, let's full send team of the weeks. Even team of the season cards, they're not really down in price. Team of the weeks, 11K. Just try to do that. But team of the season cards, not. I don't think they're down in price. I would have preferred them when they were 18K. And if we look at them, they are now 27,000 coins. I mean, 28K, jeez. It's, you're paying 10K over what they were a week ago. So it's kind of... Kind of tough there, but you know, it's the same situation with Team of the Weeks. This is the last supply we're going to see on Team of the Season cards. So once this is done, it's just up because they're not going to stop requiring Team of the Weeks and Team of the Seasons in SBCs. They're going to keep getting required, but there's no more supply. So it's a really, really easy investment you guys can be looking to do. And um, yeah, Team of the Weeks and Team of the Seasons. I mean, you can look to maybe buy these at 28,000 coins and hope that the Icon SBC that comes out tomorrow or if they refresh that icon player pick tomorrow on Sunday, maybe they'll do the team of the season requirement again. And that actually made these team of seasons go up a good amount. So maybe that will happen. I, I, it's definitely riskier with the team of the season than it is with the team of the weeks because the team of the weeks are only 11K and they really can't go much lower. Uh, let's talk about fodder now. SBC fodder. That was the tweet. That was the pack I opened. We went over that. And we're going to pull up fodder now. Cheapest player by rating. They're going to drop more. I'm filming this video earlier than usual. Their 83s are around 2K. 84s are below around 4K. Maybe a little less than that. And 85s are actually fairly low. Seems like they're below 8,000 coins. I'm not touching the... I mean, you could probably even do... Honestly, you could probably do high rated fodder as well. I'm just thinking about it. With high rated fodder, I'm guessing that Icon SBC could refresh tomorrow on sunday and it could actually rise so high rated fodder might not be a terrible move let's just see what are the i mean the 87s did fairly decent if you can get 87s for below 12k i'd say 87s it seems like they're around 12,000 coins right here if you can get them for below 12k i'd say that'd be a decent move the 88s you'd probably want closer to 15k and the 89s you'd want closer to 20,000 coins when we look at the 89s let's just take a peek in the past 14 days on saturday when the icon sbc originally came out they went up to about 20 to 23k and then when it refreshed on thursday they went up to 24,000 coins so Maybe if that Icon SBC comes out again tomorrow on Sunday, they can go back up to like 23, 24K. So try to go closer to 20,000 coins if you're buying the 89s. Now, the lower budget way to go would be 83s and 84s. Now, with the Icon SBC, if it stays the same requirements, it was fairly expensive. So I don't know if... The low on 83s is necess necessarily going to be Saturday, you know, tonight. It actually might be closer to Sunday. And we might see these 83s like Sunday night be around 1500 coins again. And that's an easy buy again. But I'd say 83s, you know, 15, 16, 1700, anywhere in that range would be really solid. I hope they come down in price more tonight. But if they don't, they're probably going to be low maybe even lower on Sunday. And then with the 84s, because we can look right here, actually, I can just click on one of these 83s and we can see what happened to them on Saturday when the icon came out. And if we go right here, where are we at? So go all the way back to Saturday. This is when the icon SBC came out and they didn't really move. And as the night went on, they just dropped. So yeah, I don't think the icon would really move 83s that much. Sunday morning was the low and they actually stayed low for a decent amount of time on Sunday. Yeah, so even throughout the week on Monday, they were low as well. We made good coins there. That was a, that was a good flip, but 83s, hopefully tonight can come down a bit more and it's the same thing we'll probably get more upgrade sbcs i don't know with the ultimate team this season maybe we just get like an 85 times 5 an 81 times 11 but not specific to a league or like i think last year we got some like e-figs 
upgrade. So it was like the top five leagues kind of upgrade. So I would expect stuff to make fodder move. It's ultimate team of the season. It's, you know, the last week of team of the season. So they should be releasing some good stuff. So if you're looking to buy 83s below 2K for sure, I I'd want them closer to 1500 coins. With the 84s, we want them below 4K, closer to 3,500 coins. And I know I'm lowballing these, but I'm expecting the fodder to get lower tonight. That's why you're like, bro, they're 4K. Why are you telling me 3.5? I'm a little early on the video. They should continue to drop as the night goes on. So 84 is closer to 3.5. And I mean, just below 4K, basically. And it's the same thing. We're looking to sell our fodder Wednesday to Thursday. And I would guess if we do get an SPC that refreshes every single day, we're probably going to have the sell day on Thursday, like we saw with the 83s, you know, Monday, Tuesday, they weren't really that high Wednesday, they rose, and then Thursday, they rose the most. So if we do see an SBC on Monday, that is refreshing every single day, 100%, we're just holding the fodder, we could even buy the fodder that's in that SBC Monday night, and then just hold till Thursday, and you can make a crap load of coins actually doing that. And then 85s. I'm not going to look at 86s, but for 85s, below 8K for sure. Closer to 7.5 is what you're going to want. I mean, I'm guessing they're like just below 8K. Like, yeah, that's an undercut. I'd say like 7.7 7 max on 85s and sell days probably whenever they rise, but I would assume they'd peak around Wednesday. And that's my take on fodder and all those ratings. And I, I mean, I don't want to ramble on so much. We went over fodder. We went over team of the weeks. I think it's a great time to full send team of the weeks. If you don't want to do that, you can take a gamble on some of the fodder and hope we get some good SBCs that come out. And uh, one more thing. Uh, the dude that won the, the tournament got to choose an SBC that he wanted. Any SBC, whatever stats he wants on the card, he could choose the player. And the guy that won the tournament chose Kaka. So Kaka is going to get some sort of SBC, I think, in the next... I don't know when they're going to do it in the next few days. I mean, if he can, I, there's no way EA allow it. But it could be like a 99 overall Kaka and just like all 99 stats. That could be kind of insane. There's no way. I, I don't know. I don't see them allowing that. That'd be crazy. But they did say he could choose the stats on the card. So we'll wait. Might have a really ridiculous Kaka SBC on the way. And... Let's do expected content real quick tomorrow on Sunday. I guess we get that icon player pick again, but you know, it could be an icon, could be a hero SPC. And then Monday, some sort of upgrade SPCs, you know, player picks, whatever that is. And Tuesday, rest of world team of the season upgrade SPC. Wednesday, ultimate team of the season upgrade SPC. Or I don't know if we had that last year. It could be going like a E-Figs team of the season upgrade. It's just yeah I, I i'm not too sure i just know tomorrow on sunday we're getting some we should be getting some sort of an icon if there's any leaks i'll let you guys know in the next video of more guaranteed sbcs that i know that are coming up but that's it guys any questions comment section down below my free trading discord twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace